Today we're going to be making what were probably the worst uniforms in Starfleet history, and I know I'm not alone in thinking this. So I started by getting a gray long sleeve shirt from the Salvation Army, and then I got a white turtleneck type shirt from the Salvation Army. And then you just want to cut off most of the outside on each side of the white shirt so you get just a center strip. Mine actually ended up being a little bit too thin, but um, you want to go down the center part of your gray shirt. So cut the bottom off so that the edges are higher than the middle. Then lay it over your gray shirt. And then you'll just cut the bottom off to match the white. Again, making sure the edges wing upward. So then put the white shirt so that it's around both sides of the gray shirt, front and back. And then I took some fabric fusion tape. You can also just use fabric glue or um, you can sew it if you want to, but I just like the tape. So I put it on the front, I peeled off the backing, and then folded the edge under just a little bit. So that way it gives me a nice clean seam with no stitch marks at all. So you just want to go up and down both sides all the way around that white part. And I like doing it with this because there's no stitch lines then. Um, for the bottom you just fold it under about a half an inch and sew it all the way around. You do have stitch lines on that but it's easier than trying to use the fabric tape. Um, for the pants I just took a pair of gray pants and cut an oval out over where the ankles will be and then you just want to fold the edges under just a little bit all the way around and hem those under just like that. So you want to take two pieces of three millimeter foam and cut them into rectangles. You want to put a couple pieces of sticky back velcro on each of the rectangles and these are going to go up on the shoulders of the uniform so put the corresponding pieces of velcro on the uniform itself and then you'll be able to just stick those pieces to each shoulder, the pieces of foam. And because it's just Velcro, you'll be able to pull those off whenever you want to so that you can throw it in the wash without having to worry about wrecking the uniform. So to finish out the rectangles, you want to draw a star towards the edge of each of them using gold puffy paint. And do that to both of them. So then for the badge, just cut out the basic pieces out of some thin cardboard and then take some gold adhesive foil, peel off the backing. And then for the circle, just stick it on and then cut out around it, outside and inside. So you end up with that. And then of course you'll do the same thing to the main part of the badge, sticking it on the foil and cutting it out. And then you'll just want to take some glue and glue the badge to the circle. You'll have to use something other than hot glue because hot glue will not stick to this, so I used power tack to make it stick. Then on the back side, you want to take some sticky back velcro and you'll put on a few pieces on the inside and then on the ring itself as well. And then you'll put the corresponding pieces over on the chest of the uniform. And so just like the shoulder strips, you'll be able to pull this off whenever you want to throw the uniform in the wash. And it sticks on there pretty good. So for the belt health monitors, I just cut the basic shape out of a piece of corrugated cardboard and I cut two of those to make it appropriate height. And then I cut a third piece out of some very thin cardboard, but I cut it just a little bit smaller than the other two pieces so it'll fit in the center. Then you just want to glue all three pieces together, the two pieces of corrugated cardboard and then the thin piece on top. And then I took some black metallic paint and I painted the entire thing kind of that metallic black shines a little bit. And then I took some white paint and I did all the other lines, the lines going um, around the pieces and then across the top as well. So then I just took a piece that was left over from the white shirt and I cut a rectangle from it and I put the fabric tape over on the edge, peeled off the backing and folded the edge under and stuck it right on the edge where the white starts. So again, get a nice clean line with no seams. Do the same thing on the other side, and then place where your center is going to go. Put some sticky back Velcro on the back of it, and put the corresponding pieces underneath it. And so once again, you will be able to remove this 
when you want to wash the uniform, you don't worry about wrecking it. <laughs>